Hello, and welcome to the instructions for week two screenshot status bar. So I'll open a completely blank Word document, and it should probably say in the title bar, document one, first time you're opening it, Word. And over on the left hand side, this is your quick access toolbar. Right now, it displays the save, which is the floppy disk, the shortcut while you're hovering over it is control S. There's undo, redo, or repeat, and this is to customize your quick access toolbar. And then um, this is like a help for searching for information. You have your um, the owner of this software, and then you have the um, ribbon display options. So just to show you that and minimize, restore, and close, but just to show you this, it's displaying right now the tabs and the ribbon. If you accidentally chose auto hide, you don't see it at all. So you could go back and choose show tabs. Now it's just showing the tabs. I'm going to go back to show tabs and commands so you can see the ribbon for each of the tabs. If you change to a different tab, the ribbon reflects what you just selected. So it's everything to do with inserting, layout, anything to do with um, layout of the document, margins and orientation and so forth, mailings. I'll go back to the default, which is home. And then they're broken up into the ribbon is broken up into what's called groups. So this section right here is called the clipboard group. This next section is called the font group. It has to do with the font type and size. And if you want to add bold or italic, that's all in the font group. The paragraph group, you want it left aligned, centered, right, so forth. Styles, editing, and so forth. So they're broken up into groups. And if you click the insert tab, it also has groups. So um, in the particular groups, if you have a diagonal error, arrow, which is actually called diagonal box launcher, and if you open that up, it gives you all the same features but in more detailed information. So if you were to choose a different font type, whatever you select shows um, in the preview pane. So if you select something else, it shows you in the preview pane. So whatever you choose, bold, increase the size of it, change the color of it, it shows here in the display. I'm going to cancel out of here to keep it at the default setting. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the, fi the file tab. The file tab is the only one that doesn't change the ribbon. It goes to what's called the backstage area. And that's if you wanted to open something else, you wanted to save, you wanted to print or export or just close. So that's the file backstage area. Um, so the default setting is home. Now down at the very bottom, I, this is called the status bar and it's will give a word count if you had something typed here it would tell you how many words are in the document and this little icon book with a check mark um, lets you know that there are no spelling errors if there's a little red x in there then there'd be a, um, a spelling error so that's what that is so we're going to add to that the status bar and also the to the quick access toolbar also over on the far right is if you wanted to change it into read mode what that does is it gets rid of the ribbon and it makes it um, a larger screen to view your document you're in what's called right now print layout and then they also have web layout and then if you wanted to zoom in or out you could change the zoom so um, let's say i i want to um, add print like a quick print or spell check as a, an item that I use frequently. So when I click this down arrow, it has a line with the down arrow, usually means there's more options. So right now it's showing that save is already selected. So is undo and redo. What I wanna do is I wanna um, add quick print. And when I click it, it'll add uh, like a printer icon. And I'm gonna go back and show you the, what's the difference between print preview and print and quick print. And then I'll go back. So I'm adding to my quick access toolbar. I'm going to choose um, spell, spell check is also called editor. So I'll go ahead and do that. The older versions has ABC for spell check. And I want to do open because I open a lot of files. So right now I've added more on my quick access toolbar. And if I wanted to open a file, instead of clicking file open, if I click this, it'll take me right to the file open area. Um, same thing with editor. If I click that, it'll start the spell check and grammar review. Now, the difference between these two, the printer icon, what happens is whatever I had on the screen, if I click this, it sends it directly to the printer. 
right to the printer. If I select this one, print preview on print, what it does is it takes me to this location where I can check to see if it falls nicely at, at one page and the second page starts properly uh, before I send it to the printer. So this is a better option. So I'm going to go get rid of the um, quick print. So I'll go click the customize access toolbar and just uncheck quick print. So that one's gone. Now let's say I use numbering all the time. So in here, it's not an option, numbering. But if I go to more commands, and these are all the popular commands that you can use, and I'm going to scroll down to numbering. I use numbering all the time. So I'll click that and add. And then maybe I also use copy a lot. So I'll click that and add that as well. And you can remove them if you don't want them anymore. So I'll click OK. And then you'll notice up here now I have numbering and copy. Uh, copy's faded out because you, you first need something typed so that or selected so that then you can copy. So if nothing's selected, then it doesn't know it needs to, it can be copied. So once it's selected, then you can copy. And there's no spelling error because it's a check mark there. So I've added to my quick access toolbar. And I just wanted to show you one more thing. So if you click this option here and you chose show below the ribbon, it's right here. So I moved everything from up here in the title bar to below it. So I'll just move it back up above the ribbon because that's where our eye goes. So you're going to take a screenshot of this. You can take them separately or all together and I'll show you how in a, in a few moments. The next thing I want to do is I want to add more to the status bar. So if you hover down on the status bar and right click, you'll see what's already there. The word count, the spelling, signatures, if you have that. Some of these are, um, are just um, default settings. I'm going to add what's called um, vertical page position. And then I'll click over here away from it. So it tells me at what position I'm in. So I'm actually one inch down. And you can see from the ruler, I am one inch down. And as I press enter, it's going to change where it's at now. 1.3, 1 1.6, um, and so forth. So it changes as you move along. And I'm going to add one more to the status bar. So I'm going to right click on the status bar and I'm going to choose um, page number. So it shows you one of one, one of three, one of four. So you can see where you're located in, in a lengthy document. So to do a screenshot, you will use your snipping tool. And once it um, chooses new and it uh, fades out, select from the very, very top all the way down to the bottom so that in one screenshot, I'll see your quick access toolbar and your status bar. And you have the option of selecting anything you want. Um, it's your choice what you want to add to your uh, quick access to toolbar and your status bar. And again, if you wanted to remove them, you can uncheck. We'll go to more commands. And if you wanted to change, take the copying off, you could remove it. You can do anything you'd like on your uh, desktop. So once that's done, go ahead and save and submit. Thank you.